Hi, my name's Ruby. I'm a graduate economist and I'm in my first year of work after graduating uni. I was first introduced to economics when I decided to study it in high school in grade 11 and 12. I had a great economics teacher who was really engaging and somehow may, made the even the driest or potentially boring economic concepts interesting and relatable to us as students, which ultimately made me want to continue on with my economic studies. I distinctly remember in grade 12, we had a budget party when the federal budget was announced. And I really enjoyed having that sense of knowledge and understanding about what was going on in the world at the time and how it would then impact Australia and as a result my community. Although I really enjoyed studying economics at, in school and university where I had this misconception that there wasn't any economics jobs in the real world because economics was really theoretical and and couldn't be applied to the real world problems. Um, this, this misconception was massively debunked when I started applying and looking for graduate jobs. I realized that even though there was a lot of economist roles in the more traditional spaces like the treasury and RBA, there was also a lot of private sector economic advisory jobs, which sounded really interesting. I participated in a mentoring program for women in economics, which involved me being paired with a mentor already working in the field. Uh, and my mentor, really showed me that there were so many different applications of economics to so many different problems and considering the economic implications of businesses decision making and government policies is a is a vital step that all uh, businesses and governments will have to consider. One of my favorite things about working in economics so far is the, the breadth of industries and sectors that you can work across, particularly as a graduate when I'm, I don't have enough experience to say where I specifically want to go in, in my future career. It's been, it's been really good to be able to get exposure to a bunch of different areas um, and give everything a crack. I've really enjoyed being exposed to the more traditional economic analysis techniques, say cost benefit analysis, but also work with some economists who approach this problem solving in a really creative and innovative way, which I was, which was unexpected. Um, the economists that I work with are able to bring their expertise to a lot of different areas that as a young person I feel invested in, uh, whether this is climate change, decarbonisation, the housing crisis, gender economics, education and social policy. Uh, it's a really wide range of areas that I've been able to get exposure to. Given my background in maths, I definitely tend to be drawn to the more quantitative side of economics and I'm looking forward to being able to continue developing these skills. But something that economics has definitely taught me is that numbers often don't paint the full story and being able to draw analysis into a narrative to be able to communicate the nuance of how economics can be applied is something that's really important. And I've really enjoyed being able to see in the work that I've been doing. I thought it would be helpful to talk about some of the questions that the work I've been doing is aiming to answer in case there's any students like me who thought that economics might have just been full of boring and meaningless charts. Um, some of these questions include how will Australia's economy be impacted by the, in the changing decarbonisation policies that have been implemented? How can government policy be developed to really support emerging industries um, as Australia heads for net zero? Uh, what is the, some of the economic benefits of providing housing solutions to homeless persons or even as, as random as what is the economic value of data and scientific research? It's been a really a broad range of questions that um, the economics has been able to find a way to tackle. If you're a student considering studying economics, I would say 100% give it a go. All government and business decisions made will have a economic implications. And as economists, we get to see how these impact our communities, which provides some really exciting opportunities and, able, and the ability to contribute to some really meaningful work.